I traveled across the world to make this video. I have literally been waiting for this night for my entire life. We are in Paris and we are about to dine in the Eiffel Tower. Seriously, it is the most iconic monument in the world and I cannot believe that we are steps away. So come on, let's go to the Eiffel Tower and let's eat. Soaring majestically above Paris, the Eiffel Tower is a symbol of romance, beauty, and engineering. There's so much to experience at this iconic landmark, and today we are doing the near impossible, dining inside with world-renowned Michelin chef Thierry Marx. The waitlist for this restaurant can be months long, so definitely plan ahead. First step, grab our tickets and go to the elevator. That's right, we're going to the very top of the belly of the beast right now. Yes, we're going to the very top of the belly of the beast right now. At this point, we're right here on the first floor of the Eiffel Tower, queuing up for our luxury dining experience. We're going in right now. Madame Brasserie, here we go. We are entering the restaurant lobby now. Oh my gosh, so exciting! We're walking up to the table, and luckily we got seated in the middle of the restaurant. There are no parties near us, and we have direct views of all sides of the Eiffel Tower. They are starting off the meal with unlimited champagne. This is Paris, of course, and we also got some red or white wine, but I could not actually finish all the drinks. Our server also gave us some delicious bread, and this is our first course with the white asparagus with hazelnuts and muslin sauce topped with French caviar. For course two, we have the veau au bon, farmhouse chicken, moro mushrooms, asparagus, and truffle. The puff pastry is so flaky and buttery, absolutely delicious. Asparagus seems like this is like the main theme here because they're focusing on local sustainable dishes and ingredients. I can't believe that some of them are harvested on site, literally at the restaurant, or brought in by bike. This is one of the coolest dining experiences. For the next dish, we have a white fish, which is a Mionier style sole filet. I hope I'm saying that right. These dishes are pretty complex, and it also comes with that roasted green asparagus and toasted buckwheat sauce. Oh, amazing. Okay, continuing with the seafood theme, we have a lightly seared Nikwa style tuna, parsnip risotto with dill, and orange beer blanc sauce. This was a really light dish, and I thought overall everything was really not too heavy and yet filling. Now my favorite part, let's move on to dessert. First off, we got a coffee profiterole with chocolate sauce. If you're a chocolate fan, this one is the dessert for you. And for the finale, we ordered a Madame Brasserie lemon meringue tart. This was very unique. It was very sharp with a strong citrus flavor. These desserts were like opposites, so it was really fun to try both. Like a true Parisian, we enjoyed the last course of espresso along with their Eiffel Tower chocolate before departing the restaurant and venturing back into the city. The moment we've all been waiting for, the review. Overall, I had a great time for three reasons, location, menu, and price. First, this is arguably the best location to eat in the world. Second, the menu is flavorful and cooked by a Michelin star restaurant and staff. And finally, the meal came out to around 200 per person, which for fine dining with free flowing drinks feels like a steal. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you'll join me to explore more of Paris and the world. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you guys liked it. See you next time.